So I can say certainly that some of the policies that were in place under the previous administration uh, limited, diminished shared governance um, in some significant ways. Um, but thankfully, um, Mr. Chase is a champion for shared governance and just right away, we're already taking some very positive steps um, in the right direction towards shared governance as evidenced right now that you have um, two faculty and two administrators sitting at the table with you together in collaboration. That's um, an important just demonstration of shared governance. So Mr. Chase might speak more to that. Shared governance, um, trying to make decisions, what's in the best interest of the students, uh, what direction that the um, campus should be going, the institution. When we're doing that, you need all the input you can get. From my perspective as president, <clears throat> I'm making a decision that's gonna be impacting everyone on campus and foremost, the students. And so when it comes to the students and what their needs are, the faculty are the ones that's most closest to them. They're the ones in the classroom. If they develop that relationship, they're the one that's instructing them. So without that input, it'd be very difficult to make the decisions that's in the best interest of the institution and those students. So getting that input, um, sharing in what we need to do in order to make those decisions, it's vitally important. It's worth getting at, listening to them, knowing their concerns, knowing what impact the student, that's all it's about.